Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Cosmetic company just stabbed Trump in back with fuck Trump lipstick. Guess where 100% of profits go? The advertisement says, "You're gonna love everything about this lipstick brand." Not just no. Heck no. I don't love it at all. It's downright offensive to me. Lip Slut Cosmetics, the perfect name for this company, is the entity putting out the fuck Trump lipstick. Nice way to stab the sitting president of the United States in the back. The company was founded last year as their way of fighting patriarchy through beauty. Uh yeah. That's imbecilic. Lip Slut's fuck Trump lipstick shade is, of course, a pinky hue. The perfect color for budding communists. Bonus. All profits from this bias lip enhancer will go to reuniting separated immigrant families. According to ICE, all were officially reunited this morning, so they'll probably just keep the profits to line their leftist pockets. The Fuck Trump shade was the brand's first foray into a matte liquid lipstick. Fuck Hollywood is the other, a bright, red carpet red that launched amid the Time's Up movement. 50% of the proceeds from those sales went to anti-sexual harassment and anti-sexual assault organizations. So. They base all their branding on leftist politics. Not very bright. It guarantees that more than half the population will hate them and never buy their product. 50% of Lip Slut's Fuck Trump profits originally went toward the civil rights organization of the buyer's choice. But from now until July 19, all of the profits will go to those non-existent families on the border. SMH. Somebody is in dire need of an economics and marketing class here. Some of the charities buyers can choose from include the Refugee and Immigrant Center for Education and Legal Services, RAISES, Los Americas Immigrant Advocacy Center and Young Center for Immigrant Children's Rights. What? No La Rosa? I'm offended. They are just not radical enough. Hold on to your hats because these leftist capitalists raised over $40,000 after the Charlottesville mess last summer. The money went to the so-called victims through the sales of their fuck Trump lipstick. The shade is not bad. But who that is sane would buy such a thing? The company is calling it trendy, universally flattering and all proceeds go toward a worthy and noble cause. No, they don't. The profits are going to radical leftists who hate conservatives, the president and America. It's just another way to help fund the communist revolution they dream of. The lipstick is so totally not worth it. What a waste of money. Bustle says this about the lipstick. It's vegan and cruelty-free, with a matte finish. It's intensely pigmented and mega-moisturizing, with coconut oil and vitamin E to keep lips soft and kissable. The formula is also long wear and comfortable. No flaky, chapped, and dried out lips here. Purchasing a fuck Trump liquid lip is an easy and effective way to do your part to fight against government objectives that you disagree with. You get a stunning, dusty pink lipstick with which to paint your lips, all the while donating towards important causes. You can look good but feel better about making a difference. You can wear this sexy shade in good conscience. It's subtle activism. Katie Stones founded the company on the day of Trump's inauguration. I was literally watching Trump's inauguration and decided I had to take action, Stones tells Pop Suger. I created Lip Slut after recognizing my passion for cosmetics could be used as a vehicle to inspire social activism. It inspires nausea and a need to buy my lipstick anywhere else, thank you very much. I don't think these dolts even know what fight the patriarchy means. I don't consider man evil, but I sure suspect it of these leftists. As for Lip Slut's mission of being a beauty brand with purpose, Stone says, Lip Slut is fashion, subversion, and a middle finger to the current socio-political landscape. The brand writes on its website, by working hard toward solving the issues you care about, Lip Slut is ready to help you make a statement. Right back at you. The media, however, love it and are running with Lip Slut on this. Personally, I don't consider this lip product to be a high-impact tool for change and one that empowers the women who wear it in multiple ways. But the left does. They are really trying to make hay on Trump's zero-tolerance immigration policy on the border. Others such as Teen Vogue are jumping on the bandwagon as well against all things Trump. It's not the first time the company has made their political stance clear, it created stickers reading I stand with Planned Parenthood back in May. Sticking these everywhere today. Don't let Trump restrict our health care rights. A post read on their site at the time. Life and Style Mag said, Thanks to the makeup company Lip Slut, you can now disagree with Donald Trump's policies without ever having to open your mouth. Hey, maybe they have something there. There's nothing like brainwashing young, impressionable women into some kind of twisted feminist madness using fashion and beauty as lures. The left is obsessed with the lipstick. I wear your products every day. Love them so much.
commented one user on Instagram. Yas, FK that tyrant. Wrote another of their feelings on the makeup and Trump. So classy. So intelligent. Not. But it is very communist. Just say no to this form of revolutionary propaganda. It's like wearing poison. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.